Hi everyone, Konnichiwa. I'm Yuka. Welcome to Yuka's Japanese Cooking. Today, I'm going to show you how to make cheese gyoza. In Japan, we usually use pork and spring onion and also a chive to make gyoza. But I want to make it more kid friendly, so I use cheese today. And also, I put chicken instead of using pork. The other reason why I use chicken today is to take advantage of delicate flavor of cheese. For the gyoza pastry, I used my gluten-free version gyoza pastry. If you're interested in how to make it, please check my recipe video. And as always, my family family, Mario, oh, <laughs> Mario and Luigi will be joining as my helpers. And during this video, I introduce useful cooking tips and ideas. So please watch in detail until the end. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. Here are the ingredients. Okay, so cheese gyoza is ready. So let's try tasting. Itadakimasu. And for the sauce, I prepare the vegan mayonnaise with chichimi togarashi. And also vegan mayonnaise and yuzu kosho. Yuzu is a Japanese citrus. Let's try tasting. Cheese and mayonnaise and chicken. So good. When cold, the cheese flavor comes out very well. And also the gluten-free because the pastry is very chewy. And this mayonnaise dip is also good. How about mayonnaise with yuzu kosho? The flavor of yuzu kosho quickly spread in my mouth. I like both of them. Which mayo dip would you like to try? Please tell me. Gotsuo de shita! Here are the tips and recommendations of today's menu. Tip! In addition to the cabbage, carrots, and broccoli, it would be also delicious. Tip! This cheese gyoza goes well with mayonnaise. I have other mayo dip recipes, so please check this video. And tip! When making gyoza, please be careful to control the heat and water. Don't pour too much water, just to cover the bottom of the pan. So those are the tips and recommendations of today's menu. How was today's gyoza recipe? And of course, if you want more gyoza recipe arrangement videos, please comment me from the box down below. If this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, thank you very much! I'm sharing simple, easy, and delicious Japanese home-cooked recipes, so please don't forget to subscribe! So everyone, that's all for today. 
Have a great day, great weekend, and a wonderful new week. We will see you next time. Bye bye.